So, uh, you guys ever uh, play a game called uh, Beauty and the Beast on uh, Sega Mega Drive? No. Nah. Well, I will kick you. Oh no. As evil of a company Disney is, at least their game tie-ins are fairly innocent. They just couldn't stop themselves. So this is Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Quest. Or should I say, Booty and the Beast. <laughs> In all seriousness though, this game's okay. The soundtrack recreates themes from the film quite well, considering the Mega Drive's limitations. Just like the Disney classics. Again, limitations. The first level seems to be based on the introduction to the film. Oh look! There's the butcher and his abusive wife! Oh! And the pumpkin man! Very accurate. I swear LeFou's stalking me. I feel like LeFou is watching me. I have no privacy. Oh! LeFou, you snitch! <laughs> Gaston! I'm sorry! I'll never show my ankle in public again! <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, he just wants to talk. What a pain in the neck! <laughs> Get it? Cause I'm a child molester! And I'm stuck. Hey man, you okay? Thank God, I thought you died. Hang on. Are you playing Beauty and the Beast? Again! Yeah, I'm making a video of it. Are you actually going to beat the game this time? I wasn't planning to. But... <laughs> you never get past the first level. Like, I've had it. I've had it with this. Like, I'm gonna take Scooby-Doo and Batman, and I'm going to my room. Watch it alone. You'll see. Do you know who that was? I don't know why I should beat the game. The first level's the only thing worth talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna complete the first level. So it's not explained very well, but once you get to this obstacle, you need to find Gaston to get him to move it. Even though I could easily jump over this rock, or go around it. So I trace back through the town to find Gaston. This is where you interrogate him. Good day, Gaston. You see, there's a huge boulder blocking the stream. On second thought, never mind. It looks really heavy, and I wouldn't want you to bruise anything. Especially your fragile ego. A simple, can you move this rock please, would suffice. So Gaston moves the rock for you in ankle high water and buggers off. No. 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 I saw how deep that water was. I saw how deep that water was. That was ankle high water. It's ankle high water. Whatever, let's just continue Bell's quest. Uh, what is this? Is this as far as I can go? See, I thought the game was called Bell's Quest. But if I'm not allowed to go any further than within earshot of the little town, even though I can still hear the music, this is not a quest. Unless the kind of quests you're talking about are the kind you get in World of Warcraft. Where, in which case, unblocking a river is pretty much as exciting as those games get. 
So you end the level by going back to the house, which drops us up neatly to level two. I made it. But where the fuck do I go? We went from a linear path to a fucking maze. What? <laughs> So it turns out that what the Pumpkin Man said in the first level is crucial to beating this maze. Well, because of my pig ignorance, I'm gonna go ahead and look up a walkthrough. What the fuck is all this? Jump over the last trap and up to reach the castle. The only walkthrough on the internet. And it's wrong. Fuck you, wishing to call at hotmail.com! I'm sticking to my guns. I'm gonna figure this shit out on my own. Two thousand years later. Finally! I did it! With zero lives left! I like my chances. At least I get to relax now with the be our guest scene. Oh, there's a level to go with it. <laughs> what? Will I be collecting food or so? Ah! I do not remember this from the movie. Be our Guest, be our guest, let us stab you in the chest. Tie a noose around your neck and let the bleeding do the rest. To follow along with the foreboding nature of this game, the next level is another maze. But at least this time, there's a structure to it. You just gotta get the keys and follow the doors. But the bats and the rats! Oh! Oh! Oh no. I think that's it. I don't want to do all this again! I, I don't see any reason to go on. I guess that wraps up the video, right, McCoy? I have stolen your skeleton, McCoy. And I will be keeping him until you finish the game. You're gay! Finish the game! <laughs> <laughs> so I got through all that shit again. By now I have each maze memorized. And eventually we reach this balcony area, which is a refreshing bit of platforming. Until this jump. You need to be so precise to make this jump. The very moment Bell falls by one pixel, that's when you have to jump. Okay, so let's wrap this level up. You get to the beast's room where you get a magic mirror and... Bell's head. I think I'd better leave. Finally, after another game over, I made it to the end of this atrocious level. Then some story stuff happens. And the next level is... The famous dancing scene. Collect the petals, because, you know, when they all fall, beast dies! Shower yourselves in a reminder of your inevitable mortality! No more mazes, please. Whoa, an action sequence. Sweet. Wait a second. This music sounds familiar. Finally, we make it back to the castle. Time to teach Gaston a lesson. Or we could just skip that and dance again. Fuck this game. It's not even worth talking about. It's not even worth reviewing. There's no point. It's a game that was made to tie into a movie. It was made for kids. Saying anything about this movie would be like critiquing Anne Frank's diary. There is just no point. I beat the game. Are you happy? Hello? You okay? Yeah, but... I thought you were in your room. Where's McCoy? I thought you had him. I thought he was with you. Then, who wrote that note? Where's McCoy? Hey there, thanks for watching. Did you know this video was recorded in October 2015? And I didn't touch it until now, and it only took a weekend to finish. So, uh, yeah. I'm glad I was able to get this video finished, and thank you again for watching. Um, 
I had hoped that this video would continue on to a mystery of where my skeleton has gone, and it may just do so. I hadn't actually planned that far ahead, so be sure to subscribe for a, I don't know, an epic adventure to find my skeleton. Maybe next year, huh? <laughs> oh god, uh, kill me.